So this is Paul Michael Davis, and I'm here with uh, Mike, uh, Mike's chair. Mike, how you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, first question: When you get on stage, I mean, you've been doing this for a little while, right? Yeah, about uh, ten years. So uh, ten years in ten years' time, I mean, you've gone from um, relatively, I mean, no one outside of uh, your area right. knowing you to now everybody knows you. Wow. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, but well, the point I'm getting is, I mean, uh, all right, when you first got on stage to now, how has yeah. the emotion, the vibe changed? Um, you know, I think a lot of the emotions are similar. I still get nervous. I, I still um, kind of freak out at times before going on stage. But I think there's also a confidence there at this point where I, I think after doing this for so many years, you kind of get to a point where you're like, well, you know, somehow some way it's gonna work out you know what I mean and that might mean it all falls apart but we've also learned that like God is faithful in all of that you know and and sometimes that's the way it's supposed to happen and so um, I think as I've gotten older and even just especially more recently um, there's kind of a peace in in just kind of hey it's not about us. I mean, that's what I love about where we are right now at the All For You Festival. Um, we have a song called All For You, and, and that's kind of a thing. It's like an, it's a statement of saying, you know what, if it's not about us, then that takes a whole lot of weight off of, you know, trying to make it something. Absolutely. So... Doing all right tonight, Kansas? You guys ready to worship with us tonight? Sing one together. Get your hands up like this. Come on, let's sing them all over this place. Are you ready to help us out? Gravity hold me down But right. well, I'm ready for my life to turn up Um, and God being the premises, He being the, the, I mean, the, the peak of the mountain, but He's at the beginning of the mountain with you. Yeah. How has that affected your life with God being involved? Oh man, I mean, it's, it's everything. I mean, that's why, like, for me, you know, when I was in fifth grade, you know, the songs that I, I naturally was writing were songs to the Lord, you know, it was just... Wait, wait, wait. fifth grade, you're writing songs? Yeah, yeah, that's kind of when I first... I mean, they weren't good songs, <laughs> but, you know, that's kind of when I, I kind of, you know, our guitar player is a way better guitar player than me. I kind of learned to play guitar uh -huh. to write music, you know, and um, and so at that point, yeah, I mean, from from day one for me, it's been no question, you know, it's like the reason why I sing, the reason why I play is because of the Lord. Uh -huh. So leading you from uh, Nashville, I mean, Nashville being prominently a country, sure. I mean, obviously country Christian, or Christian country, but, um, but still country, and then going to a Christian contemporary, uh, Christian pop, Christian rock. Yeah. Um, how did that evolve? Um, well, the, the thing that's cool about Nashville is, especially now, you know, there's a lot of different music coming out of Nashville. So, yeah, I mean, you have, you have your typical country music. Country and Christian are kind of centered there in Nashville, but um, there's a lot of other, like, really cool music coming out. And so Nashville, I was always drawn to Nashville. Um, we all went to Belmont University, which is right there in Nashville. And, um, and it was kind of one of those things where literally within the first couple weeks of our freshman year, Mike's chair started. And it was, you know, I had just kind of written a song and... to stop you but is it true 
that Mike's chair is actually named after literally your chair? Yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> how did they come about? Yeah, at that time, you know, we were all in a dorm together, but I was the only guy that lived on a different floor, and so. When we first started the band, I mean, we spent all of our time together, literally to the point that I was sleeping on the floor in the other guy's dorm rooms because we were writing or playing or, you know, hanging out. And one day they came, I got back from class and they went out and got me a chair so that I would have something that was mine where all the other guys were, you know? <laughs> and so that's where I wrote all the first songs for the band. And now, um, you know, I love it because it just serves as such an awesome reminder of a time when we were doing music for all of the right reasons. Yeah. You know, it's like we were we were writing songs um, because that's what we were passionate about. Mm -hmm. It wasn't for radio or all the things that kind of get in the mix as you get into it. And so, um, yeah, it's just a reminder of uh, for us of where we started with not much more than a chair. Well, okay, so Mike's chair actually started with seven guys um, as fresh when we were freshmen in college. And naturally, some of the guys were older and they graduated and moved on. And then some guys got married. And so, you know, doing what we do and traveling is a, it's a, tough. it's tough. You yeah. know, it's like a, a lot of people see what's on stage and that's fun. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the stuff to get to that point it, isn't. Yeah. It's hard, you know. And so, especially when you have, you know, wives and you start having kids and, um, and so. So at this point, all of um, our drummer Nate has been here since um, those days in college, and really? of course myself. Um, and then the other guys, though, that are that are playing with us now have, have been with us for years too. So, um, so it's not essentially the core that started, but um, the core of why we started it is still here, and I love that. Change, uh, change the pace real quick. Now, out of all the songs you've had, cause you've had some hit songs. Mm -hmm. What is your personal favorite? And it is, is it even a hit or is it one that we haven't heard yet? Yeah. <laughs> um, that's a really hard question. Um, it's like saying pick your favorite kid. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I, I think I, I will say one song that I think if people know Mike's chair, they will know is a song of ours called Let the Waters Rise. Mm -hmm. And that was one of, you know, our, our first yeah hit songs and I think it's one of my favorites just because of the stories that I've been told associated with that song mm -hmm. so every night when we play it now um, it's so much more than when I wrote it because now there's all of these other people that have you know told us how that song has affected their life and so um, yeah so that I mean that's one of my favorites to play every mm -hmm. night now, what is one thing, I mean, a lot of people know this stuff, I mean, or think they know a lot about Mike, but what is one thing that people don't know about you? I am terrified of snakes. What? Yes. I, I literally, like, I, I, the only nightmares I have involve snakes. That was not even a hesitation. Did no. you realize that? That was, yeah. that was right well, there. I think it's because I literally was just telling the guys, <laughs> I had this dream last night about a snake that was chasing me. So, yeah, I mean, that's something a lot of people don't know. I probably shouldn't tell people because then all of a sudden they're going to try to mess with me. Show, the snake's going to show up in your bus. Oh, or... dude. I, the guys in the band know yeah. not to even mess with it it's because that, that, it's that, that serious. Bad. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> Should we cut that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So we're going to follow up from that one. Um, all right, so where are you going from here? Where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, uh, man. That's a hard question because I don't even know where I'll be in a year from now. But, you know, for... Where, where do you hope to be? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I hope to be, um, you know, having already released our fourth record onto another one and um and and continuing to do what we do you know i think we write the music we write to impact people and um for us it's not about the size of the crowd but um it's more about the impact of the songs and so you know my prayer is that they'll, they'll continue to be songs that god uses in in big ways now before you go on stage what is a prayer that either, I mean, if it's too personal, I understand, but what is a prayer that you yourself, I mean, tell yourself, or that you and the band say before you go on? Yeah, um, that changes every night, but a lot of it, um, you know, there's a, a verse in 1 Corinthians 13. It says, I could speak in the tongue of men and of angels, but if I don't have love, you're basically adding to the noise. And so our prayer every night is that we won't be adding to the noise, you know, that in some way, 
it'll be so much more than just entertainment for people. It'll be so much more than us. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and we say that from the stage, so. That's really cool. Hey, um, thank you so much for this uh, short, quick interview. Yeah. Uh, this is Paul Michael Davis before Mike's chair goes on talking to Mike. All right. So uh, we're at the 2014 All You All, I'm sorry, 2014 All For You event. And um, who's it for? All For You.